Okay, so today, uh, in the last few days, we finished the subfloor, and then the next task is to put the walls up. We've uh, screwed in the lower dovetail beam, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to seat in this one. We, do, we just set a couple ranks on top. I don't, we didn't have to do it this way, but anyway, we have them here. So we're going to take this dovetail beam, we're going to slide it down on top of the lower one, do that on both ends, see how it sits. We'll do that on the other side and then we'll screw them both in again. So. All right, and we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. And over, and down. Okay, that's good. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Good. So they sit in there nice. So if, if you see here, like, you know, these are all done with a jig. So they're not all perfect, but, you know, there's a pretty good fit there. If you come around to this side, it's, it's you know, pretty tight there. Some of them have a little bit of a gap, like, but it's all, like, at most a quarter inch kind of thing. Um, so they sit pretty tight. And I, I'm guessing, although I don't know, as the weight of the cabin compresses this a little bit over time, that these... I actually, I don't know if these gaps will get better or worse, but anyway, they're not bad to be in with at all. So I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, if you look up here, um, some of them, when they did the jig, there was just a little ridge that I had to hand saw. And we'll show you that here in a bit on another one, but this is just one I cleaned out a little bit here. Anyway, these are our jigs, and we show how these were used in our, our first video we did on the dovetails. Um, but probably due to a minor imperfection in how I made the jig, some of my dovetail corners were left with a small lip um, on the inside edge here. So you can see it there. And all I've been doing to fix that is I just take a handsaw and I just kind of gently come in and saw it off just to make everything as good as possible. Takes a little time, but then, you know, now it's good and clean. So, yeah, just a minor tweaking. All right, so one of the things I debated when I was doing this cabin is at these dovetail corners, like, I think in theory, they don't really, say, need to be screwed uh, together. Um, and I was thinking of not doing it, but I've decided that I'm going to do it in the end. And uh, I'm doing that for a couple reasons. I think, one, it'll just hold the corners together even better. Uh, but two, uh, when you look at the end of these logs, like the log has a, a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. Um, and some of the logs, as they dried, they, they twisted like just a little bit. And by putting this screw in, I think it, uh, it allows me to compensate if the vertical axis is off a little bit. I can, I can adjust the log slightly and put a screw in. Um, and this is, I'm probably being a bit nitpicky because nothing's really off very much. Like, uh, like there's nothing that's off half an inch. There's maybe a few places that's off a quarter inch. Um, but I think the screw allows me to compensate a little bit for that. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. I hope that it won't affect how the cabin settles with time. I, I, I don't think the screws will, but that was one of my concerns. Um, so anyway, hopefully it's not a bad idea. If it is, I don't know. You don't have to tell me because it's done. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, well, that's what I'm doing. So we're going to screw right this one into that one, that one. All right, so we're just going to put this uh, beam on, but then when I get looking at it, I didn't really like the end of it. Like, I wouldn't say it's rotten, but uh, it's not my best one, and there's the wood's just a little, I don't know what the word is, but anyway, I don't like it, so we're gonna take this one off and uh, either save it for higher up or not even use it. Okay, and then this is the bigger lift. I find if you get your whole forearm underneath it. Okay, okay. on three? Yeah. One, two, three. We'll get this one looked at by uh, Patrick. Patrick's a uh, comes down and helps with the cabin a lot. He's a relative who uh, well, works in the woods and just kind of, if you need to know something about any of this sort of stuff, he's the guy. He'll know what to do and uh, we'll ask him before we put this one in. But we'll put another good one on. Yeah. Okay, so all, all we're doing now is we're picking a new one that looks good. I'm liking that, sounds nice and solid. 
so I think we'll take this one. The other thing when you're putting these on is that they, they only fit one way. So this one, my end has to go in that far corner. So then what it will do is I'll lift my end on top of here okay. and then we'll just push it and then I'll get on top. So it's, 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 there's no real niceness to this. So I'll just come over here and I'll pull it a little ways. Okay, now if you can lift it. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. They probably, I don't know if I could lift one on my own, but I, I, I would be close. So I, what would that be? A few hundred pounds maybe at most? Perfect. Screw those two in and then that part's done.